Hello, welcome back to Man V Film. I've got another Blu-ray pickup video for you here. Five titles uh, that I've got recently. Just checking that I've got my math there, you know, because it's such a high number. I did just double check that. <laughs> and we're going to start off with the first movie that I, or the only one from these that I haven't watched as yet. But as soon as this video is done, I'm getting on it. And that is Ghost Town. Picked it up from Amazon. I think it was sold by Rare Waves for £5. Uh, I know nothing about this one at all, uh, other than I think it's modern day mixed with Old West ghost uh, cowboy type thing. Don't care. I'm going to throw it on. Uh, enjoy the hell out of this one, hopefully. Next up, we've got number 19 in the Italian collection, which is Seven Deaths in the Cat's Eye. This eye, I really like this giallo. It's crazy. This plot is a little bit all over the place. It's set in a Scottish castle, which I, I really like. Um, a lot of the characters were really duplicitous and, and nasty. They had so many things thrown into this. It was bonkers. It, it's not the best jelly I've ever seen, but I had a lot of fun within uh, the production of the castle. Some of the strange ideas, like throwing in the monkey, which seemed utterly just mental. Uh, and, and a lot of... Uh, the shenanigans that were going along was just just really fun. Next up, I've got a couple of purchases I got from uh, eBay, £6 each, and I'm really happy with these because it was movies I loved anyway. Up first is Under the Silver Lake. Andrew Garfield stars and David Robert Mitchell's follow-up to It Follows. I loved It Follows. I thought it was one of the best, smartest horror movies in the last decade, but I think Under the Silver Lake is better. It is a long movie. It's often meandering in the way it's going about its story. We follow a loser who's struggling with his life choices and where he stands as he starts to look and find patterns in everyday world round about him, which leads him down a mystery kind of enigma passage, but it's filled with lots of uh, current day situation and commentary of the world. It's kind of funny, it's endearing, it's silly, it's mysterious, it has one of the best scenes I've seen in the last 10 years in a movie. The songwriter scene, I utterly love it and I quite happily sit down and watch the full movie just to get to that immense sequence. It's a weird oddity, but I think it's pretty great. And like I said, you can get it on uh, eBay for like six quid. That's including postage and packaging, utterly worth it. Next up, uh, another one from the same seller I got and that was Bait. Bait is a tremendous movie um, and it's one that is a little bit hard to attune to because of the filmmaking technique. It was made with a hand cracked camera and you know the kind of things where you turn so it's, it can be fast, it can be slow, uh, a little bit uh, strange in the way it's constructed but it's an ma absolute masterclass in editing. The way that thing's put together is utterly brilliant. It's about a man who lives in a fishing village, who was a fisherman, who finds that his town has been gentrified uh, by these uh, people from the city coming in to make it a quaint little summer uh, vacation place where it's a home for him. Um, but it's told in such way that you can just see into this man's life, see his point of view uh, from the minimalist way that it tells its tale. It was even better on the second watch, and I just I just thought it was amazing. Next up, I got from Amazon. It was a price dr uh, dropped nine fifty, and that was After Midnight, starring, uh, written and directed by Jeremy Gardner. And I I love this movie. It's one that again was better the second time watching it. Uh, I think Bria Grant, who is directed one of my favourite movies this year, uh, co-stars in this one. She did Twelve Hour Shift. If you haven't seen it, search that one out. Uh, she is just uh, stunning in this one, and she should be because she's supposed to be the love interest as we follow a man whose relationship has fallen apart. He has this big house in the country, his partner has left. Every night after he gets drunk, he thinks a monster's coming for him, and he's trying to defend himself. And all the while, we're getting a flashback story to their relationship of how they came together, how, how they connected, how they began a relationship, and how it kept going. But it's all through the prism of him thinking about all the good times, thinking about all the things that make him sad that it's gone. You never get any of the negative. Um, and it's got a fantastic karaoke sequence in it for um, just for just amazing sake at the end of it. Now, 
this is one of those discs that it comes with a whole extra movie on it. Jeremy Gardner's uh, first directorial movie, The Battery, is in here. It was a movie that was made for $6,000. It's kind of zombie apocalypse of sorts, but it's basically about these two baseball players who are just alive together, making their way through the world aimlessly. They don't know what they're going to do. They're just trying to survive and it's really fun, really interesting and really well done and goes kind of places that you're not expecting it. I, I quite enjoy uh, both these movies, although I always preferred The Battery to After Midnight, but after the recent watch, uh, After Midnight has just crept up in my list as being the better movie for now. There we have it, quick five movie pickup, of which I've watched most of them and I'm about to watch the other one. Have you picked up anything lately? Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.